Putting a tool into the spindle is very simple, but it could end up costing the company a lot of money if you don't do it right. I'm going to take this tool, which is a one inch insert cutter, and put it into the spindle. Every Haas mill has a tool release button. Now, some might be broken and you have to hold the tool release button on your actual monitor, which if so, it might make this a little bit more difficult, but I just want everybody to understand, you can hold this button down as long as possible. Some people think you might have to hit it and get the tool in there real quick. That's not the case. You can hold it down and keep holding it until you align your keyways right. How I like to do it is I'll hold down the button and I'll start with my keyways, which on every tool there, there'll be two keyways that line up on your spindle. I like to start with them offset and then I'll rotate them into, into position because you'll feel it kind of jump up a little bit. So I'll start off of the position and then I'll rotate until it goes into the keyways and then I'll release the tool release button. Slowly put my tool in. I'm gonna start off center and I'm gonna rotate till it kind of pops in. I'm gonna rotate it back and forth and then let go. And just to release it, make sure you have your hand under it. Now, one thing that has happened to one of my coworkers is she was getting out a shell mill and she was pretty close to her vice table. And this shell mill is about a four inch uh, shell mill so they, she wasn't prepared for the weight of it. And she had her hand under it like this and when she released, it popped out and her hand hit the table. So make sure when you're taking out tools, you are at an appropriate height to where when the tool pops out, your hand isn't gonna hit a fixture, a part, and if it is, then you need to prepare for it and put lay rags down, or just, just make sure you're safe and you don't end up going to the hospital to get stitches because your hand hit a fixture.